us, you all are aware, Ghana is preparing to host the All Africa Games next year. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the progress so far. The Minister of Youth and Sports, uh, Mustafa Yusuf, has given his update on the All Africa Games preparation uh, so far and uh, what has been done, uh, the construction and the multi purpose sports complex that was uh, touted to be built uh, the sports disciplines as well that will be taking uh, place at this all africa games have also been revealed we'll look at all that today as usual subscribe if you have not uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates now the local organizing committee of the 13th all africa games has announced the 25 sporting uh, disciplines uh, teams to compete in August 2023, when the games will be taking place. The list of 25 uh, disciplines was announced during the closing session of the first joint technical team of the LOC, the TSAC and the AUSC, uh, which was held at the Alisa Hotel on Friday, 18th uh, February 2022. And uh, now the disciplines include football, athletics, boxing, uh, cycling, uh, chess, squash, uh, table tennis, netball volleyball beach volleyball fencing cricket arm wrestling badminton basketball field hockey handball judo karate do rugby swimming taekwondo weightlifting and tech ball as a demonstration sport speaking at the event the executive chairman of the local organizing committee dr Kwaku of Ufusu Asari also outlined the criteria for selecting these sporting disciplines for participating countries. Among the criteria included the availability of facilities for the games and technical facilities required for the games to go on. The criteria as enumerated by Dr. Ufusu Asari included the following, sending out forms of interest to the various confederations to complete a return for assessment the confederations were required to explain the qualification procedures and processes for their various teams and individual sports. The LOC also took into consideration the number of teams and individual athletes to be based in Accra for the games in their respective sports codes. The LOC considered the availability of facilities required for the games, availability of the number of technical officials required, and the contribution of various international confederations towards the disciplines, expectations of various sports disciplines of the LOC, and milestones reached by various sports disciplines with respect to qualification into major competitions. The expected outcomes of the Africa Games. The Africa Games will be held uh, for the first time in 2023 from August uh, with the official dates yet to be communicated. Uh, so Ghana preparing earnestly for the All Africa Games and uh, progress on the facilities was given uh, by the Minister of Youth and Sports. Let's have a listen uh, to what he said uh, concerning the progress so far in the construction of the facilities for the All Africa Games. Despite the devastating impact of COVID-19, the government of Ghana is on course to provide the necessary sports infrastructure, create a conducive environment and ensure that all the needed resources are put in place on time to host an exceptional African Games, Accra 2023. The protocol agreement was signed on the 29th October 2021. After the signing of the protocol agreement, Ghana has met its obligation of paying the initial 900,000 US dollars to the African Union as a commitment fee to host the 13th African Games. The government of Ghana is committing over 200 million US dollars to provide the international standard sports infrastructure for the games and several millions of the US dollars in activities before, during, and after the games. The sports facilities being constructed at Batima in Accra include Olympic standard 10-lane competition pool, an 8-lane warm-up swimming pool, a 5-meter deep Olympic diving pool, five tennis courts including a 1,000-seater center court, two multi-purpose hall and each of them thousand seater 
Also under construction at Baltimore is 400 meter athletic warmer track, a football training pitch, an administrative block. As a legacy to the project, the facility at, the, at Baltimore will be transformed into a university for sports for development after the games. So you heard the sports minister there. Down payment has been made uh, despite the COVID, he said, and uh, everything seems to be the goal. Uh, I brought you that story uh, that indicated that Ghana probably were not prepared for the All Africa Games. In terms of facilities, uh, the land at Boteman had not been worked on. Uh, the minister in that speech there assuring us uh, that it will be ready in time for the All Africa Games next year, 2023. The University of Ghana also will be a host of some of the games. About the Bottoman complex look to be the one that will have most of the facilities that will be used in the All-Africa Games. Looking forward to this in August 2023. It will be interesting to see how things go with this uh, All-Africa Games being held in Ghana here. First time I'll be witnessing it and you know we'll bring you exclusive content when the time comes. August 2023 marketing your calendars. Official data have not yet been brought though. Uh, we'll see when it comes out and when Ghana will be hosting the rest of Africa. And my final story has to do with Baby Jesse Samojan, who has called out Ghanaians for their hypocritical behavior when it comes to supporting the Ghana Black Stars. Uh, he said the Ghanaians will say adamantly about, uh, that they do not support the Black Stars again. Then you see them uh, talking about the Black Stars when things go awry. And now the former captain has said Ghanaians pretend not to care about the Black Stars, but they feel the pain any time the team suffer defeat. The Black Stars came under the spotlight following their disappointed performance at the AFCON. And the last time Ghana won an African Cup of Nations was in 1982, as you're all aware. According to Jan, those who claim to not support the Black Stars are hypocrites because they also feel the pain when the team loses. Ghana and Nigeria's rivalry, you cannot predict, he said. Anybody can win, so we just have to stay focused and do what they have to do in the field. That is it. Jan, who is the country's all time highest goal scorer, said, as quoted by Ghana Web. And now, no matter what, we will keep supporting them anybody who says he does not support the national team is a hypocrite when you are there and your country is losing you feel it because you are from the country meanwhile the playoff between ghana and nigeria will be contested at home and away basis with the winner advancing to the world cup ghana will host the first leg in cape coast the second leg in abuja and moshod obiola stadium in Abuja. So Baby Jet there calling out all of us for being hypocrites. When we say we don't support the national team, we are not explicitly saying that we do not want the national team to survive. We feel the pain, but I think it is a damage limitation that most of the time people use that excuse for. Uh, you know the team disappoints, so why put your heart fooling in it? And that is how people try to shield their hearts from that pain. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments box on that. Uh, the All Africa Games a Sports Complex building is set to be built ahead of the competition. The Minister of Youth, Minister of Youth and Sports has given an update on that front. Maybe that's someone calling all Ghanaians who claim not to support the Ghana Black Stars hypocrites. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the week.